Hello and welcome. This is Deepak Mishra and in this video I am going to tell you about the Viter Bildung structure that is a post graduation training structure for orthopedics and trauma surgery in Germany. I have downloaded uh, our paper from website of Estacam and Niedersachsen that is Medical Council of uh, Niedersachsen and I am going to read to you the proposed Viter Bildung structure. What does this uh, entire training duration, what does it encompass, so what does it have and what is the duration and everything. So first of all, I will show you this paper, I am going to down, uh, post a link of this on uh, comment section of this channel on this video and uh, you can uh, check out the entire thing but as you all know everything here is in German so I don't know if you will be able to understand it. If you can very well otherwise I am going to, uh, you can follow this video and uh, understand the uh, details of it. See, I'll just bring it a little bit closer. Uh, here you can see it says Fakats for Orthopedy and Unfall Chirurgy. Fakats is a specialist. Fakats means a specialist doctor. Assistant Arts is assistant doctor that is resident. Fakats is after you clear the post-graduation exam, then you get the Fakats title that is like MS or MD uh, in India or in USA. What you may call uh, on this on this uh, document on page number thirty two is that for the department of orthopedics and trauma surgery. Uh, first of all, we are going to talk about what is the duration of this training. The entire duration is of seventy two months. Uh, they have different in Germany. There is a law of everything. I mean, if we have it uh, other countries as well. But here, uh, whenever you read anything, there is according to law. This, they mention the law name and the number of the law. According to this law, this is the duration of training. Then from this 72 months, 24 months shall be in basis vitre building. Basis vitre building in Gibit Chirurgy. That, that means 24 months, 2 years, you will be doing basis surgery. It's not specifically uh, orthopedics or trauma. You will be doing also uh, general surgery, you will be seeing patients from urology, you will be seeing patients from vascular surgery. So you will be rotating, ideally you should be rotating in different uh, branches uh, in your hospital. And after that, after you finish your 24 months of uh, basic surgery, then there is 48 months of speci specific core training, what you may call it. Uh, this core training is vital building some FACATS for orthopedic and fall chirurgy. And from this 20, uh, 20, 48 months, uh, 12 months is ambulant bereich. Ambulant bereich means uh, OPD basically that you uh, are in a clinic, you are in a practice, not in a hospital. And 12 months in our Fagat Sertable don't give it so you should know. And 12 months can also be that is optional. You can also go to neurosurgery or uh, yeah or other surgical branches like uh, head neck surgery or something and you can uh, do 12 months that will be also counted in your training for orthopedics and trauma. So that is the better, uh, basis vital building site that is uh, duration of the training here. What is the content? Content of the training as you all know see uh, content is almost same for the training overall in all like entire world I think I hope. Uh, the orthopedics trauma what does they do? They manage the heart tissue, the bones, they, uh, for all fractures, osteosynthesis, uh, that is to fracture repair, different ways of uh, fracture repair, they have to learn all, also soft tissue trauma, one has to uh, deal with, this is traumatology, basis of note fall for Zog, that is uh, when a patient comes after accident or uh, say road traffic accident or somebody is fallen from a height, uh, what has to be done, that is in Germany it is called shock rom, shock rom management. So uh, when that, in that situation, how do you deal with that, what do you do, uh, all these, um, you have to uh, put these uh, um, catheters, uh, drainage, uh, chest uh, drainage and uh, uh, the drainage, sound. those things you have to do also in many places, those things are done by general surgeon. But in here, as ortho trauma, you have to also do those things, you have to also do uh, ultrasound you should be able to do ultrasound of the abdomen as well and muscular tissue as well. So that is what I have told from my experience and my uh, knowledge. I will read further from uh, this paper. Here states that uh, first of all in basis surgery, when you are doing basis surgery uh, of two years, you will be, uh, you have to understand and uh, learn the pre-operative pre and post-operative measures, how patient has to be handled and uh, what has, what measures have to be taken, what preparation is required, pre-operative and post-operative. 
also you should be able to uh, understand the rehabilitation requirement of the patient that what rehabilitation requirement this patient has what physiotherapy requirement this patient has post surgery that you should be learning during that period uh, obviously documentation has uh, is a very important very important thing in germany uh, you have to learn and especially for foreign doctors uh, those who are not very used to uh, i mean language is all, language is tough system is different in that case uh, getting used with a documentation german documentation is very important and also very uh, difficult i might say one has to actually make a lot of efforts to learn this documentation system uh, those things that is that was a special tip for foreign doctors uh, then you have to learn behandlung for schwer and mehr for lack for uh, mehr fach for let's say means uh, the the acute trauma the heavy trauma uh, the schwer means yeah the this multiple trauma patients you have to learn trauma management of those patients uh, as i told you you have to also learn the emergency management of neurosurgical patients gefes vascular surgery thorax surgery uh, and uh, general surgery patients this interdiscipline all surgical patients as emergency management you should be able to at least to the emergency management for all surgical type of patients that you have to learn during the first two years uh then uh, yeah i'll this is this was so far i have talked about trauma now we talk of orthopedics in germany see uh, when i was in india uh, orthopedics and trauma are always talked about uh, talked about uh, together it's not trauma and orthopedics it's same like, orthopedics is trauma uh, like that but uh, in germany i have realized that no orthopedics that is cold orthopedics is different and trauma is different orthopedics means uh something which is not emergent which has developed over the period of time and it will take some time to heal or maybe has to be operated like you say carpal tunnel syndrome or say uh some deformity in the foot or spine deformity those things have to be operated fine or say uh, arthritis and the hip hip replacement those things are orthopedics that is not trauma but if there is an accident there is a fracture if there is a uh, some way there is a acute trauma Uh, incident then that comes in uh, traumatology so initially till 2005 i think i'm not very sure about the uh, year uh, in germany these two vital building these two trainings were different traumatology or traumatology were different that is uh, there was a surgeon who was a trauma surgeon then orthopedics was different there was a uh, surgeon who was a orthopedic surgeon so they did not do uh, things for each other i mean ortho the ortho surgeon will do only cold orthopedics thing that's planned operation operations trauma will do only traumatic managements uh so but uh, in last 10 years i think this uh, two departments have been clubbed here and now the training is orthopedics and traumatology that is unfall chirurgy in orthopedy in german so in uh, orthopedy what do you expect in orthopedy uh, you expect this congenital uh and congenital order acquired deformities repair uh conservative and operative therapy for rheumatic rheum uh, rheumatic rheumatic diseases uh then also all the all the sports medicine sports medicine and sports trauma comes in orthopedics then prevention of uh, uh degenerative prevention of degenerative changes and uh, osteoporosis those things bio machine biomechanics of biomechanics of the body and the those things um then what type of examinations are you like, required to know uh, during your training as uh, trauma and ortho surgeon the examinations like physical examinations is very clear i mean everybody has to know physical examinations plus additional you need to know ultrasound ultrasound uh, examination of abdomen as i told you in uh, when trauma patient comes then there's a sometimes there's a um, you have to rule out uh, bleeding in uh, intra abdominal bleeding or uh, some organ uh, damage say spleen rupture or liver rupture or or say gefes uh, vascular uh, rupture in uh, abdomen so those things you have to rule out uh, by ultrasound also arthroscopy procedures arthroscopy measures you have to look into the joints how uh, what do you find any deformities how is the arthritis or what other type diagnostic and therapeutic orthopedic arthroscopy can be diagnostic as well as therapeutic uh, then yeah burns also burn is also included here in trauma orthopedics mostly uh, initial 
uh, treatment is from trauma uh, for burns are but, uh, but later on it goes to plastic surgery for uh, better therapy and uh, treatment and um, uh, grafts and everything so i have not read out everything in this paper because it was too long and most of the things are self understood i mean you guys know uh, what training in ortho and trauma is i have just tried to mention those things are which are different here one thing i also like to add here that there is a note fall medicine uh, vital building training here uh, so every surgeon is also allowed to do that training on the side and you can do that you can uh, work as a note arts note arts means you are the emergency what you call note arts is um, the emergency doctor emergency doctor as in you are go, uh, going in the van in the like ambulance you're going in the ambulance at the trauma places and or flying in the helicopters and bring uh, and treating treating the patient or uh, treating the victims on the spot not in the hospital setting on the spot stabilizing them and bringing to the hospital that is a note arts uh, so you can you when you learn these things and also you do the uh, extra 6 months training for uh, note arts or six no six months uh, it's i think it's a few days training note arts course is a five days something that's an extra course if you do that then you can also work as note arts as emergency doctors so uh, other than that um yeah other than that i think uh, that should suffice that that is the overall view of training in orthopedics and traumatology in germany and uh, you guys know that yeah there is also a catalog uh, you, have to, you have to maintain a log book ideally i mean most people don't do it later on get it signed from the professors but uh, ideally there is a catalog on the website you have to download it and keep it uh, like uh, filling it uh, regularly and uh, at the end of your 6 years duration of your training you have to submit that catalog as well along with all the other documents to show that you have, you have completed your training and then the medical council will give you a date of exam and then you have to take the exam you have to pass the exam and then you get this facarts title so guys uh, with this i think uh, this video will give you some has given you some overview about the training of uh, ortho and trauma in germany and uh, i wish you all a uh, very good luck keep struggling hard working hard towards your career goals and um, all the best bye bye and don't forget don't forget to subscribe to this channel and for questions you can keep posting on comment section i shall answer them uh, i find some questions very uh, unspecific and uh, somebody was asking me about the cost of maintaining a car i mean yeah fine <laughs> i will answer that sometime later but uh, do keep your questions uh, coming i will make videos and uh, i will compile those questions and answer them together uh, sometime soon all right then bye bye take care